Hello, my name is Na. Today I'm going to be doing market prep because I got into my very first market, which is very exciting. It's the No Clue Collective market on July 14th. It's the first market I ever applied to. I applied to another one in September or for September and they're only going to be doing like um, acceptance after July 15th which is a day after my first market so I'm kind of excited I really hope I get in but like I don't really know if I will and I'm not really expecting to to be honest but I'm doing market prep because today is what is it Today's July 3rd, and the market is July 14th, so I have 11 days to make a lot of stuff. I honestly, I don't have a lot done. I don't have a lot done. So I asked my boss if I could work a little less, so I'm not working as much this week. In my free time, I will be crocheting because I really need to get items done. I am making mostly bags, I want to say. Or the bags take up most of the time. I'm making bags, coasters, bandanas, little keychains, and little pouches. I think that's it. The I don't know if that sounds like a lot, but that's what I'm making. I already bought the yarn. I realized, like, oh, I could have vlogged or, like, recorded me getting the yarn, but honestly, I'm kind of happy I didn't because I didn't, like, spend my time worrying about, like, oh, I need to get footage, blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't even think about it. So I just had a lot of fun yarn shopping. I'll show you what I got because I did take a clip of it when I got home, just like the yarn haul. I didn't speak in it, so I'll just put like text over it or something. But I'll show you what I got. Plus, uh, all the yarn I got like at the start of the year from, what's it called? Lovecrafts. It's in one of my like really first few videos, like a vlog style. So I have like a bunch of cotton yarn from Lovecrafts, the paint box yarn. So I'm making my crochet heart totes with that. I'm gonna make two in each color, and there's six colors, so I'll have 12 of those. And then for the butterfly shoulder bag, did I tell you what I'm making? I'm making my crochet heart totes, butterfly shoulder bags, and star bags. The crochet heart totes, I'm doing 12 of those, or I plan to do 12 of those. I don't know if I will be able to. Those are really fast though. And then butterfly shoulder bags, which take a long time. I was like, these are so cute. I'm going to make them. And I bought the yarn for it. And like, it takes me so long to make them that it's honestly not even worth it to make those for my market. But they're so cute. So I really hope they sell. If they don't, I'll put them on my Etsy because damn, I don't need like 10 butterfly shoulder bags. But they actually take a long time. Like they they're not worth it for me to make for this market but i've already like kind of committed so i'm just doing it and then i'm gonna make those like flower pot coasters like you know the coasters where if you fold them up and bunch them together they look like flowers i'm gonna make those and some regular coasters too i think if i have time and these little cherry blossom flower pouches that i saw on pinterest <laughs> actually i saw it in some person's like crochet idea video I don't remember who it was, but I saw the picture and I was like, that is so cute, I need to make them. So I found the pattern for the square on Pinterest, and then I just made it into a little pouch. And there's this free pattern on Instagram by Lil Things Crochet. It's a free pattern. There's also a YouTube tutorial, I think, which is how I initially found it, but I prefer written patterns, so I went to the Instagram to look at it. And I made these Lily of the Valley keychains. They're so cute, and I'm so sad. This is like scrap yarn that I used for it. I was I only had enough to make five because I started a sixth one, but I only had enough to make one flower. You can see like the green in it. Anyway, I only had enough to make one flower, so I only have five of these. I'm I don't know if I'm gonna make more. Maybe I'll only have five. They're really cute, but I don't feel like it's worth it to go buy another. Like this is the yarn I used, Lily Sugar and Cream. Like, I don't think it's worth it to go buy another ball of the white just to make those because I don't even know if they're going to sell. Like, I don't know if anything is going to sell. So I really don't actually know how much stuff I should be making. I just am making stuff. Here's the half-finished Lily of the Valley. Yeah. Anyway, I really like that pattern. I recommend it. I'm currently working on another butterfly shoulder bag with these colors. I have the black for the outline, the white for the main part, and blue for the butterflies. And yeah, so I'm doing that because that's going to take forever. I'm going to go out. I think I'm going to go to like a bubble tea store and 
get a bubble tea and like crochet there because i am always home which is not bad but it's not really good so i'm gonna go out and then i'm gonna have dinner at my boyfriend's house and come back home because i work tomorrow but yeah i have been market prepping for a while i just haven't had the energy to like film i just didn't feel like filming it and i didn't think it was really important to start right away i have some stuff made already so yeah i am market prepping but it's not like i'm starting just now i already started before and i have some bags i made a long time ago that i'm just gonna bring to the market too to see if they will sell because i haven't used them and they're taking up space so i hope that i can sell those if people like them sorry this intro was so long it's not even an intro my intro was like two seconds it's the no clue collective market on july 14th i don't think this video will be out before the market maybe it will be because i talk a lot so the video might be long i'll probably post either one or two videos so maybe this will be before the market so if you're in montreal you should come to the market because i'll be there it's my first market ever i have like i'm really excited but i know i shouldn't have high hopes and expectations because like if i don't sell anything that would make me so sad i don't think i won't sell a single thing i think i'll sell at least like one thing like is that expecting too much to sell one item i don't know i don't know because i i don't really know what to expect i've never done a market before so i realized i say so and like so much in my videos <clears throat> anyway and anyway i say so like in any way and but and yeah okay so i'm going to so <laughs> i'm going to continue crocheting this i need to eat something before i go out and i made like little star keychains i ordered the little chain like the ball chain to put on the keychain so that you can put it on stuff i decided to do the ball chain just because i feel like that's easiest and it was cheaper <laughs> not by that much though for now it's better just because i get more but the i guess the quality wouldn't be as good as like a lobster clasp lobster keychain kind of thing with a key ring but I just find that the- because I have like- can you see? I have like stuffies hanging from my curtain rods that use the ball chain kind of clasp. I just thought it was nicer. And like I tested out what the keychain would look like if I had one of those with like the little thing from one of the stuffies. And I really liked how it looked. So I'm just gonna do that instead. For the keychains, I did the Lily of the Valley. I'm doing little stars, little hearts, and I want to do the keychains that kiss because I have like the magnets that I can put in. I just don't know if I have a hot glue gun. So I might have to get one of those to glue the magnet inside. And what else, what else, what else? I had to say something else and I forgot. And bow keychains. There's like these little bow keychains that I thought were so cute. And they don't look like they take up a lot of yarn. So I can use like whatever nice colors I have to make a few of those. I think those will be cute and hopefully really quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. So I have a lot of plans, not a lot of time. I'm gonna stop because this is 10 minutes now. This video is 10 minutes and I need to crochet. I just finished editing my prom thing and I'm like watching it to make sure it's fine. But yeah, it's a 30 minute video, I think. It is a 30 minute video, it's like 29 minutes. Hopefully this one won't be as long. I don't know if you like longer content or shorter. Who knows? I'm just gonna do what I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna crochet. I, I will. I don't want to. I don't really want to record too much of me crocheting because I don't want it to get boring of just so many crochet montages over music. But like, yeah. So I'll just update when I update. So far, that's the plan. Ah, oh, there's so much more I want to show you. Hold on. I went to like the dollar store and spent like thirty five dollars on like um what's it called like booth display stuff before i go show you that though i bought a square reader sorry i'm all over the place but i bought a square reader which was 70 dollars by the way an investment for sure but it's because i do plan on doing more than just this one market like i really hope i can do multiple markets so hopefully it'll be a good investment 70 dollars guys maybe i'm not broke but like it's a lot of money Okay, so for the market table, I bought two fabrics. I think I got three meters of each. It was like $20 each, so it's like 40. It says $40. It's just white and pink, like off-white and pink. Actually, 
for the off-white so i went to two fabric stores the first one i walked in didn't see anything but as i was leaving they had i don't really see that but as i was leaving they had like above the door like the entrance a bunch of like solid color polyester whatever cotton fabrics which is what i got because i saw they had like a nice pink color and i bought that it was twenty dollars and seventy cents twenty dollars and seventy cents and then i went to a store next to it and the yarn it was cheaper it was like four dollars per meter and the other store was like five or six per meter sorry i don't remember six i think it was six dollars per meter at the first store and then five dollars per meter in the second store so i was like damn it was cheaper here i should have shopped around but honestly twenty dollars is not that bad i don't think so my mom said it was fine and my mom knows about this stuff so i trust her and then i picked out that white fabric and then the lady cut it and she was like oh wait this is stretch fabric so it's more expensive it was like seven something instead of five dollars per meter and then she was like oh but since i mistook it for another fabric and i told you it was five i'll give you a discount so instead of it being five it was again six so i paid the same price at both stores anyway and this way i got two because i was like i don't know if i want to have pink or white i will have the options and if the pink is like too sheer, if you can see like the table underneath or it looks weird, I can just put the white under it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, let's get both because why not? So I got both. So I bought a lot of stuff for the table, which god damn, that was expensive. The table itself is $60 for six hours because the market is July 14th from 12 to 6. So it's six hours and the table is $60. I don't know if that's good or bad. I've seen some other markets in like really touristy busy places that are 200 something plus with tax i don't know for how long but like that's how much a table would be and like i don't have that much money and i don't even know if i will sell anything so yeah maybe i'll do one of those one day i kind of want to i don't know so i thought 60 dollars was pretty fine 60 dollars and it's for like my first market so it's just kind of i'm not expecting much from this I kind of just want to get the experience of it and then like know how to oh how i'll set up my booth in the future or what i should do what i shouldn't do what i need what i don't need blah blah blah. like more so learning learning experience than like like oh my business i want to get money like of course i want money but i don't have high expectations or hopes for this because it's my first one and i am a newbie i don't know what i'm doing anyway i really need to crochet now i gotta crochet because I only have 11 days now when i say it that sounds really scary but i have 11 days so i'm gonna crochet yep this is how far i got for the bag it's about half yeah half of the first panel it's actually it looks really small the first one i made was huge but anyway i'm halfway done this took me like half an hour to do like i said i'm so slow at this i just feel like it's not worth it but i already started so yeah, butterfly shoulder bags. And then I want to make some star bags. I want to make some star bags with this yellow yarn I bought, which is why I bought it, because I want to make star bags. So I'm going to take this out, actually, if I... Hold on. I have this Pound of Love yarn I bought to make star bags, and I can make a few with this. I think I can make at least five, I'm hoping, at least five bags. So what I'm going to do... Sorry, I'm bringing you to the table. What I'm going to do is, I'm pretty sure this is the same yarn, right? Does this not look the exact same? Cause like, I did a craft fair at school and we bought this, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's the same. I just think the dye lot is a bit different, but I think it is the same yarn. So this is 73 grams. Yeah, 73 grams, 72, whatever. It's about 75 so what i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do is make some balls of yarn with this to bring with me and make a bunch of star bags i think i'm gonna do i don't know should i do 70 i can make like a bunch of 80 gram balls this is 454 grams that divided by 80 i have no idea but i'm gonna make some and then i'm gonna go because this is too big to bring with me like look at how big this is pound of love i have like a spreadsheet Hold on, maybe I should go get it. All right, so I have this spreadsheet that I made. It doesn't really make sense because, anyway, it doesn't really make sense. I have like the product names I want, or I have that I'm making, and then how much it costs in material. So like, 
That's why I weigh my pieces or the yarn before and after I use it to figure out how much yarn it used. And I have two because some yarn is more expensive than the other. And then how much the material cost, how much time it took, and then how much the base price should be. Which, by the way, for this butterfly shoulder bag, I should not be selling it for less than $90. We're going $65. Like, the labor. I don't know. Th this is considered underselling myself, right? Do people get canceled for this? Like, I don't know. It's just trying to be realistic i don't feel like people would pay 90 dollars for such a small bag you know so i put 65 i don't even know if people are willing to pay 65 i had it at 70 i think 75 and i was like i feel like that's still a lot because it's so small you know like i have slightly bigger bags that are much cheaper so i was like hmm. because it's so small i don't know if they'll buy something for that expensive and also but no sorry not and also but it's more intricate like it's um what's it called like not tapestry what's the word it's like color work so it just takes more time it has a design on it but it's small i don't know i mean if you think about the material cost i'm still making profit i just that's why i said i don't feel like it's worth my time to make it because it takes so much time that i'm not really being paid for <laughs> like properly but whatever i just do this because i like it and then Sorry, I don't know what I was talking about. Okay, for the star bag. See, I have the star bag here. I have, like, the thing ready, so... So when I'm ready, I can just put in how many grams I used of the yellow to figure out how much it costs to make one bag, and I need to time myself to figure out how much money I should be making to get the base price, and then I can price it. But, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go... I'm going to go way out, or divide up that huge ball maybe like two two or three 80 gram balls just because i have to go soon so i'm just gonna do that quickly and then leave or not winding but i like it's kind of like a yarn cake but not really because i did it by hand it's kind of ugly but i did okay it was 80 81 ish grams so i'm going to cut this and then do another one actually i did the math i can make five star bags with this which is not bad five star bags with this about this size i was thinking maybe i should do different sizes but i'm just gonna stick with this one and yeah so i can make five of them five star bags if anyone is wondering how i like made that yarn cake kind of shape it's not really a perfect yarn cake but i guess you could call it one because it kind of has that look to it and by look i mean kind of like like it has corners you know like that look so basically i start off like a normal yarn ball but when i get so it's not a center pull like i i personally don't center pull on cakes anyway if you did want to make it a center pull i think you would just have to leave like a string from the middle out when you're winding i hope that makes sense i'm not doing it because i don't like center pulling so i don't do that but basically i make a little ball so if you wanted to center pull you would have like a long string like coming out but maybe the bottom and then you just wrap the yarn at an angle i try to go for like I want to say it's 45 but i don't really yeah kind of 45 degree angle and you just keep wrapping like that so i do a few like wraps and then i i turn it a little bit so i wrap it around i don't really count i just do it and then when i think oh i should turn the ball i just turn it so it's kind of hard at the start because the yarn like slips off of itself like i don't know if you can see it's like slipping off but I just do that and that's it you just keep turning it little by little and like winding the yarn at a angle that's how you get like the corner corner parts of the yarn cake yeah it looks kind of rough at the start 
just because it's like slipping everywhere but i feel like once there's it's bigger it it's easier or like it looks it starts to look better that's it i watched a video like two years ago on how to do it so that's why but they kept it on their thumb but i find that the pressure of the yarn because i wind so tightly it like squeezes my thumb and it kind of hurts so i just take it off my thumb you could put it on your thumb and just like rotate it but i think you'd have to wind pretty loosely and i don't so that's why i do it this way right now it looks like nothing but i swear this is how i do it i want to get bubble tea but i got bubble tea yesterday so i'm not going to get any today which kind of sucks yeah earlier i said i was gonna go out <laughs> I'm a liar because if I go out, I'm going to spend money. Also, recently went to a new yarn store. Not a new yarn store, but for me, it was new. I went to the yarn store in Montreal called La Maison Tricotée for the first time. I work not far from it, and like every time my shift ends, the, the store closes also. So I can never go, and I'm never really in that area. But I went to work one time, even though work was closed, because... <laughs> kind of dumb i went there i literally spent like 20 minutes just standing there i love yarn stores i usually go to espace tricot on monklin because well i'm familiar with monklin but i think i'm gonna start going to la maison tricoté also just because they have cheaper yarn there like there's this one cotton yarn i got this is what it looks like now it looked really rough before but it looks better now let me wait Hi, it's the next day. I think the last thing I recorded was me um, hand winding, hand caking the, that big pound of love yellow. So I have five balls of yarn to make Starbucks, and yesterday I made one. It takes me less than two hours. I would say like an hour and a half maybe because I was like, here I'll show you. So I made this. I had added an extra row to one of the panels because I was like, maybe I will have enough to make it slightly bigger. And then I was like, no, let's just stick to the original. I think I have seven rows on it. So I was going to do eight. And I was like, I'll just stick to the original seven. So I undid it. So that was kind of like a little bit of a waste of time, which is like about 10 minutes. So I don't want to count that towards, you know, making it because I'm not going to be doing that every time I make the star bag. So it was like an hour 40-ish minutes, hour 50-ish, but I think it's like more like an hour and a half these take me an hour and a half to make which is not even that long honestly i could make like five of them will be really easy and i have an extra one from last year so i have two it is definitely the same yarn just the different dye lots because the recent one the one in the front is a little bit lighter in color and the one in the back is a bit like i don't know if you can tell oh yeah, you can tell the one in the front is a bit lighter and the one in the back the older one is kind of more yellowy i mean they're really similar anyway it's the same same brand same yarn so yeah i have four more balls of the yellow to make star bags i left one at my boyfriend's house because sometimes when i'm there i like yesterday i was there and i didn't have anything to crochet so i went home and i came back and i, I left that there just in case i need something to crochet and by the way this is the leftover yarn from that 80 gram ball like, this is what's left over after I made that star bag. So, I pretty much have exactly five star bags that I can make. With the extra yellow, I'm thinking of making, like, little bee keychains because I don't think that's going to take up a lot of yarn. I should be able to make, like, four, maybe three. I wanted to show you yesterday, I kind of, like, was it yesterday? Yesterday, I kind of, like, really quickly went through what I got from the dollar store to display on my table so i kind of want to go through that a bit slower like just to show you so i have this i said like these bamboo things i think i showed you this one yesterday but i have this i don't remember i think i was gonna make like little pouches to put in it i'll show you because i have like i made this like three years ago a pouch like this something like this size because it fits perfectly in the in the square so i can make a few and like line them up like that and then I have this one, which I think was the one I was struggling to get out and couldn't pull out. This one, it has like little handles on the side. I think I was gonna, I was thinking of putting like keychains in here, like just kind of plopping them in, like just putting them in there, not really in any nice way or anything, just throwing them in there. And then having the, like a dis little display of the keychains hanging, and then you can just like pick one up, whichever one you want. 
Um, I showed you this. I have two of these. Yeah, two of these. I was thinking, okay, so I have this one I talked about yesterday with the little dividers. I was thinking of putting the flower pot, flower coasters in here, but I was worried, like, what if they don't fit in the little individual holes? So, what I'm gonna do is either if they do fit, I'll put them in that. If not, since there's three divided sections, I was thinking of making like circle coasters, heart shaped coasters, and star coasters, which would probably hopefully be that size so I can put them in there. And I have another one of that thing for like the keychain thing. I don't know what this will, will be for, be for something. And then that other, um, I almost dropped it. That other one. And I got this bin. I was thinking I can just put my crochet heart totes in here. Like just crochet heart totes and star bags in here. Um, I was worried that the like weave woven what is this? Like, it, it's kind of... I don't know if you can see that. There's, like, stuff sticking out. So I was worried, like, maybe I don't want to buy it because my yarn will get caught on it and pull on the bag and, like, ruin it. But then my boyfriend was like, you can just put fabric lining in it, which is so genius and so... such a simple solution. So I did end up buying that for that. And I have this bin. I have... I don't even know. <laughs> There's so much stuff in it. I have... I have this bin which I filled already with some stuff I have ready for the market. This bin that I'm gonna use for the butterfly shoulder bags because it's pretty much the perfect size to put them in this way, like like that, as you can see. It's like almost the perfect size. So I'm gonna use that for the butterfly shoulder bags and the other bin will be for the other bags. And for now, I just put in like whatever stuff I made for the market in there. And yeah, that's all this stuff. Oh, and I showed you this yesterday. I don't know if I said it yesterday, but I was like thinking of putting the prices on this. But now I kind of think it would be better to have individual little tickets. Or not tickets, but like like pieces of paper or something next to the items that have the price on it. And then on this board, I what I can do is uh, give pattern credits for all the items I made. Like so that because not all the stuff I made is my own pattern. So I want to give credit for you know, the patterns I use, so I can definitely write that on this, which I think is actually what I'm going to do, because I like that better. And then I can, like, make the little price ticket things all nice and cute with, like, all my stationery that I have. So that's what I'm going to do. Today, I have work. I'm just going to make some star bags because they're really easy and fast to make. I think I'm only going to be able to make, like, one or two, or, like, one and a half. Actually, maybe two today because I'll make one now and then on my way to work, I'll make another one probably because the bus ride is like 40 minutes. I have a lot of time to crochet on the bus, so I'll do star bags right now during the day. I don't know if after work I'm going to be like, I might be too tired to crochet, so I might not. Last night, I came home around like nine. I was too tired to crochet, so what I did was I edited a video and yeah. I feel very productive. Like, I haven't had work in like five days because of that shift that was canceled. I don't know if you watched my other video, my knitting video, which is the one I just finished editing and is uploading right now. Uh, I went to work when there was no work. <laughs> so since I didn't work that day, I've had five days off in a row. And I feel like in that time, since I wasn't working, I'm not really tired. I've had a lot of energy to do other stuff like market prep and editing videos, which I finally did. So I posted my final prom dress video a few days ago. No, yesterday. I posted it yesterday. I don't know when that is for you because I don't know when this video is coming out. But it's up if you want to watch it. And then also that knitting video. I knit a sweater for my friend. That video is up. I really like that video. It's kind of like really chaotic and like not organized at all. But that's why I like it. Like it doesn't feel... I feel like I'm not camera shy at all anymore. Or like I don't... Like, I, I like that video because it's kind of just, like, fun. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to crochet now. I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then crochet star bag. I don't know if I'll film that. Maybe I'll film a little bit. Yep. So today I'm just going to make star bags. And then I need to, I really do still need to make those butterfly shoulder bags. But I think I'm going to maybe make some pouches before... I do the star bags because the butterfly shoulder bags because I want to have enough stuff inventory you know 
like what if i don't have enough what if i spend all my time making like three butterfly shoulder bags and then the the market comes up and i have nothing else except those like five butterfly shoulder bags so i think it's better to do the easy stuff first and then work on the harder stuff because at least i'll have more stuff to sell of those easy stuff i hope that made sense i don't really know i also want to make some bandanas and those should be pretty fast the only thing is i don't really know what kind of yarn i should use i have this from my prom dress or prom top that i didn't use like a whole ball of this like yeah this is the last ball i have i can probably make like three bandanas with this i don't really know they don't take up a lot of yarn so maybe four three or four uh yeah okay i'm actually gonna crochet now because i have to 20 whales i started on an enemy so i need 20 whales and It's 107 now. I have to leave at like 1.30 ish a bit before. I'm not sure when the bus comes. But I have I finished one star panel. It's just uh, seven rows from the middle. Yeah, seven rows. And I'm at six rows on this one. I could finish it, but the thing is I need to get ready to go. I don't think I'm gonna bring this to do on the bus just because it's like I don't know if it makes sense. It's so close to being done that when I finish it on the bus, I'll have to start another one, which means I'll have this project in my bag, which is going to take up space, plus the yarn for another one. So I'll kind of have like two, like two projects, which I don't really want to have. So I think I might just keep this one at home because it's so close to being done. Honestly, these bags are super fast. It's only been like an hour and I'm almost done. So I'm going to just bring another ball of yarn and start a new one on the bus because I don't want to bring two. Alright, so I got ready for work. I'm not wearing my work shirt just because I'm going to sweat so much on the bus and I don't want my work shirt to be sweaty before I even get there because it's really hot today. But I think I decided to just bring one ball to start a new one because I also thought about if I bring the bag I'm currently working on and you can see it I have to do the strap which is like a lot of turning back and forth or like twisting and honestly I don't feel like doing that I think that doing just a new bag will be more fun so you know of course in crochet and knit fashion I am starting a new whip without finishing the old one but I don't really care because it's gonna get done it's almost done I just don't feel like I should bring it on the bus so I'm gonna start a new one also just because on the bus you know I want to have fun and making the star panel is pretty fun so I'm gonna do that uh yeah my bag is packed I got this bag at this store called Tebora on Monklin in uh, Montreal and I keep getting ads for it now on Instagram by some company like Solarix Solarix Co company yeah anyway i got this way before i even saw the ad okay so not way before like two days before i saw the ad my sister was like where'd you get that like did you order it online because she also saw the ad online but nope i just got it from a store i thought it, i literally turned around saw it and thought it was cute and bought it because i don't have this kind of is it messenger bag what kind of bag is this you know like the crossbody bag i don't have any like that i only have totes so i thought this was really cute and i got it but now that i keep seeing it like online and ads i'm like people are gonna think that i got it from online store but like i just bought it from a store i saw that i go to locally but whatever doesn't really matter anyway i'm gonna go to work now so i'm gonna mark it prep on the bus i'm not gonna film on the bus because that's really hard
these fireworks these fireworks um so i just took a shower i'm back home from work obviously i'm home i got my i ordered um these are called ball chains for like the star keychains or the keychains i ordered it and it came today I don't really like ordering online because they never deliver it to the right address when I order, but they did. And I'm excited. I'm going to open that, but because I have some keychains that don't have the ring to put on it. But I'll show you what I did on the bus. Here's what I did on the bus. I didn't actually do as much as I thought I would, but to be fair, I was taking a lot of breaks and like going on my phone and stuff. Also, there was a baby that kept crying, which was annoying. I finished one panel for the star bag but since i'm home now i'm just going to finish the other star bag that i was basically almost done and i'll finish that and then i'm gonna yeah just gonna crochet i'm not super tired but i'm gonna wait for my hair to dry and i'll probably go to sleep once it's dry i'm gonna open this now because i actually want to see what they look like yeah let me do that Why have an open hair tear line if you can't even tear it? Or maybe I'm just that weak. Probably that I'm just weak. Literally just, um... What's it called? Ball chain. Alright, there should be a hundred of them. I have my measuring tape so I can measure it because they're supposed to be 10 centimeters. So I want to see if they actually are. Or if I got scammed. Let's see... Loki though, I love this very minimal packaging. It's just a little case with them. Because I can use this case for other stuff too in the future. Not that I think I need to, but... Yeah. I can't tilt it, otherwise it'll all fall out. What? That is not 10 centimeters. Weird, that's 9 centimeters? Or, you can't see. Hold on. If it will stop moving and focus, it's not really focusing, but you can kind of tell it's nine centimeters. Um, maybe it's just missing the little connector. Where's the connector? Okay, okay. Oh, what? Okay, there's so many in here. Most of them do have the little connector. I don't know why the first one I picked up didn't have the little connector, but this one does. This one does. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is 10 centimeters, I think. I think maybe the chain is 9 centimeters, and then the little connector is 1 centimeter, so like, together it's 10. I mean, it's not, not even. Okay, it's not even 10 centimeters perfectly, but it's fine. It's like close enough. Let me get a star to see. There's a little star that I made. Star. Why is it not focusing on it? Ugh. There. A little star. Is it focused? Anyway. So, this little... Where did it go? This seems really small. Actually? Uh, I don't know. I need an editor. Let me put it on. It is really small, but I have a hundred of them now, so I might as well use them. I could put, like, connect two of them together make it longer but i feel like this is fine it's like a little keychain a little pendant so i think it's fine i like it <gasps> so cute i love this little star one and i have some hearts i think i only have two or three hearts because i ran out of that pink yarn i was using but i'll make more yeah and i'm gonna make little bow keychains also so i'll use this little ball chain to as a hanger but yeah so, yeah, I really don't know why this one doesn't have a connector. <laughs> like, it must be somewhere in here. But, like, there's so many, like... Whatever. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Let me put everything back. 
definitely not the kind of packaging I was expecting, but honestly, I'm kind of happy because, like, at least they're not, like, all individually wrapped in plastic, you know? Like, it's in, like, a little plastic container, but I can reuse this. And it's kind of cute. It's a cute little case for it, so. A win is a win. Alright. Okay, actually, I think I'm gonna put the rest of these on keychains. Or, um, sorry, ball chains. And then I'll finish crocheting that bag. That's probably all I'm gonna do tonight. Because it's already... It's already 10.40. 10.39, so I'm just gonna like watch YouTube and crochet. I started watching little, no, sweet, sweet bean crochet, sweet beans crochet. Let me see. Anyway, she's another crocheter. She's in Florida, which is cool. I'm not in Florida, I'm in Canada. Anyway, sweet beans crochet on YouTube. I love her videos. She just seemed like a really sweet person, so I like watching her. And, yeah. I don't know. That's just saying that because I'm probably going to watch her videos and crochet and market prep. Because she does has been doing a lot of market prep. Which, it's my first market. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. I'm, like, slowing down a bit because I'm doing the strap for the bag. Which, the strap is my least favorite part because it's so boring. Like, I say this about some crochet things, which doesn't really make sense, but for me I say it's repetitive. Which is dumb because all of crochet knitting is repetitive, but this is a different kind of repetitive. I don't know if you know what I mean, but like, especially like knitting scarves, doing straps. Like, I feel like it's just because it's so, like, thin and you, you flip your work a lot that I find that it's repetitive because I feel like I'm flipping so much, because I am. That's what I don't like. I think that's what I don't like. Because this is boring. I love making the star panel. But like, when I have to do the strap... No. Anyway, I was just checking in because I was slowing down on that. And I just thought... I should get... Should I get a banner? Because I have like no way of identifying my business. The only thing is, I'm not sure if it's going to come in time. Because it is... Thursday... It is Thursday, and next week is the market. So next Sunday is the market, not the Sunday coming up, the one after. And I don't know if I'll have time, like if I order it, will it even ship in time? I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm gonna start looking into that right now though, because I think I should get one. Especially if markets are something, what, especially if markets are something I want to do more of then it's worth it to get it and i think it'll make my table look a bit nicer because I, I don't know i haven't done like a a mock setup yet but i will when i have more stuff ready of course but before the before the market i will do that so i think i should get a banner or like a what is it called a banner you know like those big things that have your business name or logo whatever on it so i think i'm gonna look into that i'm i am gonna look into that because i think i should get one yeah but i just checked quickly before this and it's like seven dollars i don't know about shipping but seven dollars is not bad am i the only one who does this like if i have to pay for shipping then the price of the thing is never what it is like if it's seven dollars plus like five dollars shipping then it's like they twelve dollars <laughs> then for me the banner is twelve dollars and not seven even though i paid seven for the banner and then five for shipping because in the end i paid twelve dollars so i'm gonna say the banner is twelve dollars but some people don't consider shipping part of the price of the item which i guess makes sense if you buy multiple things and then like that shipping price is divided among everything to me shipping price is the price of the item like in my head, like if I pay twelve dollars for this to get to me, it is twelve dollars. It's not seven. Anyway, 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 anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go check. It's the next day. I think I ended off saying that I was gonna buy a banner, but I'm not because since the market is so soon, the banner won't come in time unless I pay for like twenty five dollars shipping, which I'm not doing. So I'm just gonna be bannerless. I was looking at some other people's tables from markets and i saw one other crocheter who also didn't have a banner and i think it should be fine 
it's my first market so i think it's okay if i don't have one anyway i wanted to share my little flower coaster pot because i think it's so cute i used a pattern i found on youtube i don't remember the name but i'll yeah i don't remember the name but i'll put it somewhere so you can find it and i modified the cup a bit well not really because in the video she said that you could either not increase and just continue making enough rows so i guess i did follow the pattern i just didn't do exactly what she did but i followed her instructions so here's the pot it's really small actually like but i think it's cute and i had four coasters i was thinking i would do four coasters in one pot but i i can't fit four so i'm just doing three and even three as you see barely fits it just fell out but i think if it's just sitting on a table it's fine but because i was holding it it fell out but it's so cute it looks a little messy but i think for my first one it's pretty cute so i'm gonna do little pots like this with three flower coasters so i have four of these pink ones and i was thinking of doing two flower pots of each color so i'm just gonna do not each color it, yeah of each color i'm doing so purple blue and pink so since i have four of these coasters the pink ones i just need to make two more and then i have to make six of the other ones and make these little flower pots which are so cute i bought a lot of yarn for this because i didn't really know how much it was going to take i feel like i always underestimate how much yarn is actually in these like little balls of yarn because this is actually a lot like i made two of these already for the pink ones i have an unfinished pink one here with one flower in it one coaster and like this is what i used last night and it's, there's still a lot left and i weighed the pot it only takes 10 grams sorry that sounded weird it only takes 10 grams and each ball is 70.9 grams so i can make seven pots with this which means i only needed to buy one but i bought three and i'm kind of bummed out because i don't need this for anything or i didn't think of anything i would need this for i was thinking i could maybe do like little bear keychains if i have the time or if i find a pattern but like that wasn't the plan and i don't really have anything else to do with this so i think i don't know if i'll go back to michael's to pick up more yarn just because i bought this and ended up not using it or if i should just you know deal with it but i think what i'm gonna do is make um make a shirt or something with this since i have two of them i hope that'll be enough i'm not sure maybe i'll make a shirt or i'll just save it maybe i'll make more flower pot coaster things with this and maybe sell them on my etsy that could be good okay maybe i'll do that because i don't need a shirt right now but i wanted to make more of these lily of the valley keychains because as you can see, I ran out of the white for this one, so it's just a string with a flower on it. But I don't have any more of the white. And it was a Lily Sugar and Cream, so just this, basically this cotton yarn in a cream color. So I don't know if I should go buy another one, since I bought these and I'm not using them for the market. If I should buy a white one and make more of these, because they're so cute. I think they're really cute, which is why I think they'll sell really well. But... What if they don't, you know? Because these are like on my lower end, like lower end prices. It's I think I'm going to do $12 for this. I don't know. I only have five of them. So that's $60, which is not bad. If I sell all five of them, I'll be able to cover the cost of the table because the table was $60. But yeah, I think these are super cute. So I really hope they sell. Loki, I kind of hope that they don't because I just, I like having them. But I do hope they sell because I think they're really cute. And I'm very proud of these. I followed the pattern by littlethings.crochet on instagram there's also a youtube tutorial of it if you are a visual learner i prefer written patterns so i went to her instagram page for that but i found it on youtube anyway it's so cute so i'm gonna what am i gonna do today i made three or i made two star bags and i had that one left over from last time so i currently have three of them yeah three of them and last night, I said I added the little keychain things to the keychains, <laughs> like the star and the hearts. Let me show you a heart. So, 
these are gonna be ten dollars each just because the thing is i'm like comparing to what i would buy at like <laughs> i go to like the otakathon every year and i'm thinking of like keychains and stuff there which i know they're different materials and different stuff so you'd think like the price would be different but i feel like if someone is willing to pay ten dollars for an acrylic keychain that's like this big if they like my stuff they'll also be willing to pay ten dollars for something a little bigger and handmade and you know crocheted but also i was looking at the time and the cost of it and ten dollars is not bad i think let me check but yeah i'm just gonna do ten dollars for that and i think that's gonna be my lowest price item i don't know if i should do five dollars though let me check hold on because the profit on that would be pretty good but <laughs> let me check oh yeah so the base price of those little heart and star keychains would be over five it would be like five and 38 cents because i calculate my time based on the minimum wage minimum wage by the way here in quebec and then the material cost so that would be five dollars and 38 cents if so if i charged five i would be like underselling but like barely but i think 10 is fine that's a good profit i think five dollars i don't know i never really know how to price stuff but i think doing it like this will help me and i'm also trying to choose nice numbers like 10 15 12 is a nice number most of my prices are multiples of five because i'm also thinking if people pay with cash i don't know if i want to have a bunch of change and stuff you know so but i will have some i just think it'll be kind of annoying but anyway i was oh yeah something lower priced okay something lower priced would be five dollars maybe and those like little sprout decorations for like headphones yeah headphones i don't really know what else you could put it on i was thinking of making some little sprout bookmarks i made some before i thought they were really cute so sprout bookmarks and little sprout things for your headphone i think those would be cute and those are really quick and easy and don't take up a lot of yarn so those could be five dollars so i think i'll make a bunch of those yeah anyway so right now i think i'm going to i want to make more coasters i think i'm gonna do that i yesterday i started another star bag on the bus and i only finished one panel <laughs> even though i should have technically made like a panel and a half but i only did one on the bus and i finished the other star bag i was working on at home already so i'm going to make coasters now because i feel like doing coasters and i think these little flower pots are so cute they're just little buckets they're really flimsy actually but anyway I'm gonna make more coasters i'll finish up the pink ones and i think i'm going to do purple next just because the blue i actually haven't even opened the blue yarn yet like i ordered this yarn at the start of the year technically the end of 2023 and i haven't even touched the blue yarn yet so i'm gonna wait to do that i'll just do the purple since it's already open and then i'll do the blue but yeah these are so cute the only thing is i don't remember what hook size i used i think it was a 3.5 but i honestly don't remember i don't know so <clears throat> so i'll have to check test a few i, I think it's a 3.5 but this i used a four millimeter and i'm saying this so that if i forget i remember yeah okay i'm gonna make coasters and i'll check back in later i don't know if i'm going out i think i'm going out later but i'll bring my stuff to make coasters because they're so cute i'm pretty sure i just spent like half an hour trying to make a facebook account for my crochet i I would say I feel like a boomer, except I think boomers actually know how to use Facebook because it's probably all they use. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, why is that? So, why is Facebook so hard to use? I don't know what I'm doing. Because some markets ask for your Facebook account to apply, but like, I don't have one. I only have Instagram. I don't even know how to use Facebook. I like created an, I created a new Facebook account and then created a Facebook page to link to my instagram i have no idea i have no idea i hope it doesn't mess with like my stuff but i don't know like i don't even i don't know how it works so now if i post on instagram will it post to my facebook who knows anyway i've like applied to a bunch of markets a bunch as in like three <laughs> and i'm trying to apply to another one which is the one that is asking for a facebook account it's not a required question in the google doc or the google form so i'm assuming i don't need to have one 
for the website link i just put my etsy because i don't have a website which is something i do want to do i want to make a website eventually maybe like next year and for they didn't have a link for like instagram so i put my instagram link in the section that said other links because it's not facebook I, do, I know it's owned by the same people but anyway so i'm applying to a bunch of markets i'm kind of sad i missed out on summer markets because i would like to do those but i got into one summer market because a lot of summer market application deadlines have already passed <laughs> that's why i'm trying to look for some but uh, i think i'm gonna just apply to a lot of fall markets so far i don't know if i should do holiday markets because it's hard since like that's so far out in the future that i don't know what i'm gonna be doing on like december 21st or november 14th like i have no idea so i want to apply but i don't know i mean i guess i should i will but i don't really have any like christmasy themed products yet and like when they ask my hair looks so funny <laughs> and when they ask for like product photos i feel like it should be really like seasonal but i don't have those the most like cold winter weather stuff i have is like cat hats which i don't even know if they're popular anymore but i have some pictures of them yeah anyway i literally did not crochet at all yet and i think i have to go but i will bring my stuff but i'm gonna maybe make one coaster first just to make sure i have the right hook size and then i'll pack up but yeah i uh, spent so long trying to make a facebook page and i don't know what happened and i think it flopped it's why is it so hard i just finished doing the inside part of the coaster so basically the the coaster part of the coaster because this is just decoration this is like a standard coaster size which i think is about four inches um and with the 3.5 millimeter hook so it is the right size it is the right size so it's 3.5 that i used and yeah i don't know just thought i'd update and say that i found the hook size gonna finish this coaster and make another one and then the pink flower coasters will be done because i'll have two sets of three i just finished the flower pot the second flower pot i think it's so cute i'm gonna make four more two purple two blue they're so cute i don't know if i should take better pictures because i currently only have this one picture which doesn't even show that it's a flower pot set because I didn't make, they didn't have the yarn for the flower pot when I took those pictures and I wanted to get product photos so I could apply to markets with those pictures. So I think I'll probably take new ones. It's so cute. It's only three coasters. So yeah, I think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm going to. I am going to sell those for $25. I was gonna $25. do 30, yeah. I was gonna do 30 originally, but I think because it's only three coasters, I should do 25. Also, because the cost of the materials and the time would be like 24 something dollars, so I'll just do 25 because that's a nice number. Hey, I have no idea where I left off last, but I got home from work not long ago. I took a shower and I ate, so I'm going to crochet more because I'm not super tired. And I was making those flower pot coasters these ones and I'm gonna do the blue ones so hopefully I can get those done tonight because I'm only making two sets which is six coasters and I already crocheted the little pot for one of them so I have to make six blue flower coasters and then one pot to hold them because I already have another one and then all the flower coasters will be done so this is the little pot I was talking about that I made and I started one of the coasters just have to do the green and the blue on this and then flower pot coasters will be done i found a little pattern for a tiny crab which i thought was so cute so i'm gonna try to make that i think before i do the flower coasters i'm going to try to make one of those little crabs because i have a lot of red yarn that i haven't been using so i'm going to do that i have some safety eyes too i think that I'll use for it because it's so cute. I was ta uh, talking to my coworker about it and she said that I should make them keychains, which is smart because I don't really know what you would do with like just a little crab. 
I mean, I think I'll make some into keychains and some just regular little stuffies. They're so cute. So I'm going to try to make one of those now. And then I'll make the flower pot coasters. I wanted to show you, I haven't opened this bag of yarn yet. So it's still new. Every other color I opened, I have pink, green, purple, yellow. That's it. Pink, green, purple, yellow. Oh, and a cream color. And then this blue. So I have six packs of ten. But I've already used a lot of the other ones. So I have just this new one. And I'm running out of... um, Well, not running out. But I've used half of this already. So. We'll see what I can make with that. Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to try to make that little crab thing now. And then work on the coasters. I'm currently working on some coasters. I already finished the white part and the green part for all of them. I'm just adding the blue part now. And I just got an email saying that I got accepted into a market for September 21st. September 21st market by my friend Frankie. So I'm going to reply and say that I want to do it. The table fee is $60. And it's from 2 to 7 p.m. So it's five hours. And it's for a six-foot table with two chairs. It's outside, though. So we'll see, but I got accepted, and I think I might go to Michael's later. I didn't end up going to Michael's today because I had a dentist appointment that I forgot about, so I didn't have time. But I'm home now, and I got a package from Amazon. I ordered one of those, like, metal cube shelf thingies. And I'm going to open it now because I want to see it. I'm so excited. That's it. I'm just going to open it. It came a day early. It was supposed to come tomorrow, but it came today. So I'm happy. I'm going to open it. That's what I was talking about. The metal wire storage cube cubes white storage cubes six units yeah. wow. I think for some of these I'm just going to like have them standing up with like the little cube connectors at the bottom in the corners and then hang like the little keychains on it so you can see what they look like when they hang that'll be cute and i bought these because i wanted to make like a little shelf that i can put the bags on so they can see them hanging and you can see like the full bag design because i didn't want to just put them flat on the table i felt like that would be kind of boring like you i want you to be able to see it from afar so that if you like are at the market and you see that like you don't have to go to my table to look down at the bags you can just see it from afar hanging up you know I'm going to set one up because I want to see what it looks like. I built one cube and it took me forever. <laughs> but it's done, I guess. One cube. I guess it should be the other way because this is flat, but whatever. That took me a long time. So, good thing I have an hour to set up at the market because, god damn, this was so long. I'm also just slow and this was the first time I did it. But my boyfriend will be there to help me at the market, so hopefully he can put these in faster, because I'm kind of weak. But, 
I really like it. I'm excited. That's it. I'm just excited to... Well, I really want to do a table mock-up, but I feel like I don't have enough stuff yet to do that, so I'm just waiting to finish most of my products, and then I'll do one so I can see how I should set it up on the actual day of the market. Today is Monday, and the market is this Sunday. So I have five days to get everything done, which is not a lot of days, and I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff. So I have to crochet a lot. I'm going to go crochet now, too. I just took it apart and put it back in the box it was shipped in. And I put it in the Skechers bag that I got when I bought myself new shoes. So this bag is actually really useful. So I guess I'll bring it to the market like this. I might put it in a suitcase and then bring it like this. Or if I can't fit it in a suitcase, I can just bring it like this. Because, yeah, it's a bag. I think it's pretty sh I hope it won't break. I don't think it's going to break. And I can carry it like a backpack since it has like these two little straps on the side it's perfect okay so i just laid out everything i have so far for the market and it is making me realize that i literally have nothing which is worrying oh wait i forgot something okay now there's everything that i have i forgot these little uh lily of the valley keychains but that's all i have which is kind of a lot i feel like but it's also not i don't know i don't think i'm even gonna sell this much i think i have about 30 something items 30 items but i don't know i don't really have high hopes for selling a lot of stuff but i want to have a lot of stuff available you know and i feel like this just isn't it i only have three butterfly shoulder bags i'm gonna make more i initially wanted to do 10 but that's crazy because these take forever so i'm gonna aim for five or six uh, I only have enough yarn to make six of these, so I have four. I'm working on another one, and then I have yarn for a sixth one. So there's going to be six star bags. I have four. Uh, I need to make more of these. I'm going to make, I think, ten or fifteen. Probably ten. And I finished the coasters set, so I'm not making any more coasters. This is it. And for these crochet heart totes i was supposed to make two of each color which i had six colors so i was supposed to do 12 i don't know if that's gonna happen i might just do one of each color because i am running out of time the market is in five days six days and i have this bag here that i want to sell too just because i don't use it i have no use for it it's my crochet heart tote pattern but i changed i well yeah you can see the difference and i put love and xoxo on it because it's like a candy heart tote anyway and I have these little crabs I found a pattern for. They're so cute. Like, they're so out of place, but they're adorable. They're so cute. And I added a little keychain to this one, which I felt like it was kind of weird because there's not really a spot to put a keychain on this guy. But isn't that so cute? I don't know. I don't know if I should add keychains to all of them or just some. I think I'll give people the option to add it if they want it or if they just want to have them like this. And then here are some small keychains I made with whatever yarn scraps I had. So I have four stars and five, four stars and three hearts. And then I have five Lily of the Valley keychain decoration things. It can also be like a head headphone charm, or you can put it in like your car or really just hang it anywhere as decoration on your bag. But yeah, I want to go to Michaels to get more this of this white yarn or cream color yarn because i ran out and i think these are so cute and i think they'll sell well i'm not sure but i only have five and i really want to make more i have a whole other ball of green so i just would need to get this white off white and i think i'd probably get off white and a pure white and have those two options because i saw the pink colors of this and it's just not the kind of pink I'd, like i would want a pastel pink but the pink isn't pastel it's kind of kind of like this which i don't know if would if it would be nice as a keychain but yeah anyway that's all i have i'm gonna make more crabs these are so cute the first one i made took me half an hour because i was reading the pattern and like trying to figure it out but the this third one i made only took me 22 minutes about 20 minutes so they're pretty fast and they're so cute the only issue is i don't have a lot of safety eyes so that's why I can't make a lot, because I have a ball of red yarn. Like, like, a, like a, a ball, a cake of red yarn. 
So I can make a ton of these. I just don't have enough safety eyes. But these are so cute. I wanted to make more stuffies, but I don't really... I don't really know what kind of, like, easy... I don't really know what kind of patterns to use because I don't really do crochet on Megurumi. And there's another vendor who's going to be doing crochet stuffies. So I don't really want to, like, like, overlap too much because I don't... Like, it's not a competition, you know? It's, like, we're all supporting each other, but, like, I don't know. I don't really want to make too many plushies because they're selling plushies, you know? And I'm selling, like, bags and accessories and stuff. I wanted, but I do want to have some plushies just because I feel like people like them and it might be good to have variety. But my booth is mostly focused on bags, pouches, and like things you can use. But yeah. And something I don't have any of yet that I do plan on making are bandanas because I pattern tested for Crochet with Ray for her Eden bandana. And those are super cute and fun to make and they're really fast. So I'm gonna make those. Oh! Okay, so maybe I, I will go to Michael's tomorrow. I was supposed to go today and I didn't. I said that already. So I'll get the yarn for this, the cream and pure white, and some yarn to make the bandanas because I currently only have this, this, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier, and I wanna get more. Yeah. So maybe I'll go get some of this in different colors just to have variety of my bandanas, but yeah. Anyway, I have to crochet, so I'm going to crochet. I hope I can get a lot of stuff done tonight. I want to start a butterfly shoulder bag, but those just those take five hours. And I feel like tonight I want to make a lot of stuff, so I'll probably make maybe like crabs, as many crabs as I can. I think they're so cute. And I'll, actually, I'll start some bandanas, just because I have this ball. And I can do that. And they should be pretty fast. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make crabs and bandanas tonight. Oh, and maybe some of these pouches, because I only have three, and two of them actually aren't even done. One has drawstrings inside that I still need to attach to the actual pouch. The other doesn't have any drawstrings. I think I'm going to put a button on this one. But yeah, so I need to make more of these. So far, I have three. I wanna, my goal minimum is ten, which I think I can do. They only take me one hour each, so I'll probably make... No, I think up tonight I'm just going to do the bandanas and crabs. Yeah, and tomorrow I think I'll go to Michael's. Hello, so today is a really bummy day. It's raining, it's been raining all day, and I got cancelled from work. Where I work, we're closed when it rains, it doesn't make sense to be open. So, my shift got cancelled, and I'm kind of sad because I'm only working two days this week. Today and tomorrow, and it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow which means I'm not making any money this week. Oh my god, but anyway. Look at what I made. He's so cute. I used Crochet by Ruth 77's Tangly Todd the Toad pattern. It was on sale, it was 60% off. It's not on sale anymore by the time this video's out, but it's not super expensive. It's like $6. I got it on sale for like three, I think, with like with tax and stuff. But anyway, look at how cute this is. He has like the, just like the really thin legs because <laughs> I want to make some for the market this Sunday. Today's Wednesday and they're faster to just do legs like this. And I personally, I think it's cuter. There's an option to do like chubbier legs, which is also cute, but I like it just because his arms are also floppy. I feel like it's cute that his legs are floppy also. Anyway, he took me like an hour and 15 minutes to make, so almost like an hour and a half. I'm going to make another one and this time I'm going to weigh... Out the yarn and stuffing and calculate the cost of him with the amount of time it takes but I think I'm gonna sell him for like I want to say 30 but I don't know if he'll sell if it's $30 he's kind of big but I don't know I don't usually make amigurumi and this is the first time I've made it with plush yarn like I've made amigurumi before in the past I've made amigurumi before in the past but with like regular acrylic yarn so i don't know like the cost difference because plush yarn is definitely more expensive i only have these colors and pink which is why i made a frog i could make a pink frog i don't know if that would be cute 
maybe maybe I'll, the next one I make will be pink just to have some variation it's cute and I have these safety eyes I don't have a lot so I can only make like three of these <laughs> but they're so cute and it takes me about an hour 15 minutes but that's an hour 15 minutes looking at the pattern I'm not I don't like I haven't memorized the pattern yet because I only made it once but I think it'll be faster the second time since I already kind of know what to do the first time it took long because I was reading it and also I kept messing up because I wasn't reading it at the same time so yeah this frog is so cute I want to sell him for 30 but I again I don't know how much I should be selling a Megumi for also on his belly you can see the green yarn peeking through because I like crocheted over it but I think the second time it's at the bottom I stopped crocheting over it and only crocheted over it every few stitches so you don't see it like this so for the next frog I make I'll make sure to just crochet over every once in a while instead of crocheting over all of it because then it, you see his like green yarn through his belly also I had to modify the pattern a little bit because the the white belly part was um, like shifted kind of weird if I followed it exactly which in the pattern it mentions like you might have to modify the color changes because of like tension differences and whatnot so that makes sense it doesn't say how to do it but I mean I figured it out it wasn't super hard I just looked at it and thought oh maybe this should be this color and that's what I did I also messed up on the bottom row because this bottom row of white is not supposed to be white but it doesn't look bad like it looks pretty normal but when I make the next one, I'll definitely make sure to just do it green or pink. I think I'm going to do pink. So I won't do it white. But yeah, this frog is so cute. And he's no-so. Because I just, yeah, he's no-so. Because he just crochet his limbs to his body. But he's so cute. Okay. I think $30 for him. And if people say, oh, that's so expensive. Fair but he also took me a while to make. And plush yarn is expensive. I don't have a lot of plush yarn, but I do want to get into making amigurumis, especially if I'm doing markets, because I got into another market. I think I said I got into the My Friend Frankie September market, and I got into their October market for Halloween. So I want to make like maybe black cats, like Halloween themed <gasps> frogs with like witch hats or something, something cute. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to make another frog and weigh out how much stuffing and yarn it takes plus the cost of safety eyes which by the way i didn't buy these safety eyes they were from school <laughs> because the school did a craft fair and then they had leftover materials that they said we could just take so i took it which is why i don't have like i have this bag but there's a ridiculous amount of eyes and no backings which is why i can't make very many um, plushies with safety eyes because I do have a lot of eyes I just don't have enough backings to keep the eyes secure in the plushie so I need to buy more safety eyes so I'll just look at the price on like Amazon or something and then factor that into the, the cost even though technically I didn't buy it for this one I just am using whatever I have on hand because I should yeah okay I'm going to crochet another one Look at what I just finished! Are they not literally the cutest things ever? <sighs> they're so cute! Like, look, they're holding hands. They're so cute! Stupid orange elastic. Anyway. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. They are so cute. This one took me like three tries to make. So the top of her head is a little bit rough. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell like compared to the top of his head she's looking a bit rough but she's so cute and i think she came out a bit better just because you don't see pink the way you see green through his belly <laughs> but i think one thing i would have done differently would be to move the legs forward a bit i'm not sure because yeah i feel like they're kind of far back on the body <laughs> actually yeah they're pretty far back on the body if i did it again i would definitely move it up i'm gonna make another green one I have another ball, so not worried that this isn't- I don't think that's enough, but I have another ball. So I can make another green one and hopefully fix the placement of the legs. But sitting down, they look so cute. Oh 
oh my gosh they're so cute and they take me about an hour to make the first one was like an hour 15 this one was an hour and 10 so let's just say an hour and 10 minutes they're adorable i am so happy with how they turned out i will have these at my market um I think I'm gonna end the video here, actually, because I think it's really long so far. I have to edit this video still. Yeah, I have to edit this video. So far, I have like an hour and a half worth of footage. That's a lot. I'm gonna hopefully cut it down. I'm not sure how long this video will be. I also wanted to get this video up before the market, so Friday, which is in two days. Two days, because today's Wednesday. So, uh, I'm gonna edit a little bit because it's really bummy outside and I don't feel very motivated because it's so crummy so I'm just gonna edit because I don't feel like crocheting anyway thank you for watching if you watch this whole video if you're in Montreal come to the market on Sunday if you're free please because I really want to make a sale my go like I just want to make one sale guys please please thank you for watching Please subscribe if you like my content or like crochet, knit, fiber related content because that's mostly what I'll be doing. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if there's any market makes I should do. I don't think I'll be able to get them done by Sunday, but I do have two other markets coming up in the fall. So any fall themed um, market items, if you have any ideas, let me know. That's it. Thank you for watching. I said that a lot, but yeah. Bye.